right, celebrities, they're just like us, except they're not at all. <laughs> Case in point, they're extravagant writers, which are lists of demands they have for their green room whenever they tour or make an appearance. <laughs> for example, Esquire says that Joe Jonas used to ask for 12 puppies on his rider. Mmm, <laughs> bet that dressing room smells great. <laughs> Vanessa, you're on tour. What's in your green room? Um, I do ask for edible panties, um, <laughs> but not to wear. They just taste good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like fruit by the foot. You're like, I like it in this shape. Thank you. Yeah. So in the spirit of these ridiculous celebrity requests, our next game is Easy Rider. <laughs> Comedians, I'm going to show you a picture of a celebrity, and for 300 points, I want you to buzz in with something that's on their rider. First up, Jacob Elordi. <laughs> Comedians, what's on their rider? Susie. Uh, 16 models and a paternity test. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa. Uh, a, a boomerang to remind him he's Australian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next, we've got Oprah. Woo! What's on Oprah's rider? Vanessa. A brand new car! <laughs> Susie. Uh, 30 million housewives and a barely decent book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matt. New Yorker magazines for Gail and a ball gag for Stedman. <laughs> Are they gonna let us keep that in? <laughs> Oh, it's just a silence. Yeah? It's not a sexual yeah. thing, CBS. It's not sexual. Oh. It's not sexual. Yeah. It's not sexual. <laughs> Next up, it's Logan Paul. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Vanessa. Non consensual snacks. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would a non consensual snack be? Um, maybe like raisins. <laughs> 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 that just feels right. right? Susie? Uh, a life-size mirror he can make out with and then fist fight. <laughs> Matt? An energy drink that's been banned everywhere but Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the band Boy Genius. <laughs> Calm down, they're not here. <laughs> Vanessa? Uh, something lesbian y? <laughs> like what? I don't know, edible panties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call that a hate crime. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Susie. Uh, uh, one giant Doc Martin for them all to live inside. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. And now that we've shamed those celebrities, they will react reasonably and be kind to baristas. <laughs> Namaste. Matt is currently in the lead with 3,200 points. I have personally never made a mistake in my life, unless you count all of my exes. Just kidding. Please don't sue me for defamation. <laughs> You're all good, normal men. <laughs> Luckily for us, the internet is full of people who have made plenty of mistakes, like this lovely couple. I, you know how men are supposed to walk on the outside yeah. of the sidewalk? Yes. You're all supposed to lay on the outside of the hammock. Yeah. Sometimes it's not so clear who messed up, which is why today, comedians, you're going to be judge, jury, and executioner in a game we're calling Who F***ed Up? <laughs> we're going to show you a video, and you'll tell us who in that video messed up. There is a correct answer, and if you get it, you get 300 points. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Matt, you're up first with this spicy road rage incident. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so, Matt. Who messed up, the guy who started the car chase or the guy who continued it? This is so stressful, it was hard. I mean, if I had to pick someone at fault, I'd say it's the tire companies and the automakers for creating car culture. Because if we're walking down a street and bumping into somebody, you just keep moving or you're so used to interacting. But when we're in a car, we're basically in these eggs that are like rolling compounds. <laughs> Oh, f 
<laughs> I'm hosting a show. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that changed my whole worldview. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, you're so right. Uh, the answer is both of them for participating in the world's stupidest, tiniest car chase in a gas station. But I'm gonna give Matt 200 points because, oh my God. <laughs> Next up, Vanessa, judge this gymnastics mishap. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Vanessa, who is to blame, the perp or the victim? Oh, the victim. <laughs> you, you have an innocent man just spinning on a pole. Yeah. And then this guy just comes in. That's why I always look up in case men are <laughs> spinning on a pole. Right. You have to look out. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes men just be spinning on a pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the correct answer is the victim is to blame. Yeah. 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 Seems like spatial awareness would be a prereq for any kind of flipping and falling. Yeah. yeah. So, Vanessa, this is 300 points. And finally, a real doozy for all of you. Anyone can buzz in, but please watch till the end. This guy waking up a sleeping driver. Sleepy driver, the guy who woke him up. Susie. Uh, I think the guy who woke him up, I think if you encounter someone that's asleep that hard in a car that's not a car bed that little kids have, <laughs> I think you leave it alone. I will compliment the driver. He had his turn signal on. <laughs> I think it's like. Yeah. Yes, Susie, the correct answer is in the video. He should not have woken him up. Damn. 300 points. Yeah. Wow, you guys are so judgmental, you could take the bar exam tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> Hello, future lawyers, and I mean that as an insult. <laughs> Vanessa and Matt are tied for first with 3,400 points. <laughs> Stick around, because after the break, we're proving cancel culture is real. After midnight, we'll be right back.